Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. Hi, my name is Linda Reska, and I have been a professional private caregiver for a little over 11 years. So caregiving, it can sometimes be scary, overwhelming, and just overall very stressful, but it doesn't have to be if you can remember to stay close to home in here. So several years ago, I was driving to a client's house for a 12-hour shift. She had a severe neurological disease and was bedridden. I arrived at her house, walked on into the kitchen. The overnight caregiver gave me an update and told me that our client's cat had died that morning. And the client was in a very deep state of grieving. I walk into the client's bedroom, and she's hooked up to her oxygen, and her face is red and splotchy, and she has these big tears, just a silent crying, big tears coming down her face. And she talks about why did her cat die and how she's very sad. And I'm witnessing this, and I notice inside of me that my head starts to like ramp up, and I start to get this anxiety in my body because I'm thinking, oh shit, I'm here for 12 hours, and what if she cries the entire time? But I also realized when I had that thought that it was a bit selfish because I sincerely did want to help ease her suffering, but my worry was about my suffering because how would it be if she cried for 12 hours straight? And as it turns out, she did almost continuously. So, as I'm in this fix-it, what do I say? There must be something profound that I can say to help here. I have a knowing, and I walk over to the foot of her bed, and I put my hands on her feet, and I look into her eyes, and all of a sudden, in a very quiet, gentle way, all that place in my head that was all ramped up moved out and a very quiet whisper of grace came in. And I knew in that moment with absolute certainty that everything was perfect just the way it was and that there wasn't anything to fix or nothing to do. And so this moment of grace, it's kind of interesting because every single person can have it. Everybody, anytime, anywhere. You don't have to do anything special to have it. I'm driving home that night and I realize with another knowing that something inside of me is profound and fundamentally different. It's kind of hard to describe, but it was a very deep, wide reverence and a deeper place than before in the morning when I arrived of quiet and peace and silence. So you might wonder, like, how does this happen? For me, it's been over 30 years of gut-wrenching healing work, a lot of which has taken place during caregiving, and this little process that I do, which is to pause and breathe. Because if you don't do that, then you keep spinning over there, and you're completely separate from here, the place where you can source all your wisdom. One of the things that I adore about caregiving is that I am very often given situations that on the outside don't look so pretty and they're difficult and they really stretch me in my heart and in my spirit. But by doing that, I'm given an opportunity over and over to remember and remember and return to this place of knowing and I get another step closer to healing, and so does my client. So, thank you very much, and if anybody would love to talk about caregiving with me, that would be great, and thanks for having me.